Hey guys and welcome to part 12 of the scrap metal landau build as we touched on in last week's video we're very much working on the tail end of it with the tail light panel to come out and the beaver panel to come out they're going to have some rust repairs done the corners of the quarter panels are also going to be taken care of so by the end of this video it's all going to be back together and structurally sound it also means that by the end of this video there are no more rusty panels left on the car so yes, I know what you're thinking. There are some gaping holes such as the roof and parcel tray missing. However, moving forward, it means that any panels that we replace, we're either modifying some sedan panels or we're making some panels from scratch. We're not really dealing with rusty shit anymore other than as templates. So why don't we take a closer look and see what we're dealing with today. So as we saw in last week's episode, the gutters are actually taken care of on the tail panel. But if we can get a bit of an angle here, we should be able to see that it's quite badly damaged and dented. So we're gonna to need to get that on the English wheel to take care of it. And then moving down lower, we can see the lip is completely rotten, both on the inner and outer skin where it joins the beaver panel. So they both have to be cut out. And the left hand side is the worst on the quarters. So it's gonna need those panels replaced as well and we'll take a quick peek at the driver's side, which is still bad, but not as bad as the left-hand side. So why don't we get started, shall we? And here is our tail light and beaver panel completely removed. And that there is one huge piece of arse that's missing. 
So our first port of call for these repairs is we're going to repair this lower section here. I need to make sure that when I put this piece in, unlike some of the reproductions that are available, there needs to be a step down. And that is because a panel resembling this shape is actually going to sandwich between the quarter and this lower panel here. And as we move on to the driver's side, you can see a bit more of the remnants of this panel. But again, it sits like so and it sandwiches between essentially the quarter panel here, the tail light panel and this lower panel here. You can now see that that curvature lines up beautifully with the original tail panel. And with the tail panel back in place in its original spot, we've got our replacement panels all lined up. We can see that they fit beautifully. And that now means that we can spot weld it together. And once spot welded together, we can continue to keep that tail panel in place while we affect our repairs to the outer sections of the quarter panels. We have our little cardboard templates made up to do our patch for the left hand side and we'll repeat the same process for driver's side. That basic shape sorted we need to consider how we're going to do this part and if we hold up against here we've got a bit of a curve coming that way and we need to replicate all of these folds so that we can match the shape of the quarter panel so off to the bead roller again And as we look at that now, we've got a very accurate replica of that curve. But of course, when we look at it from the side, it's quite the opposite. It is curving out as a result. We need to shrink that back. So after basic trimming and dressing, 
it's ready for its final trim and we'll make that fit properly. Panels now lined up and ready to lock into place. And just like that, the left hand side sorted. Time to do the same on the drivers. There has our quarter corners completely sorted. Happy days. And now guys, it's time to move on to the tail light panel. As touched on earlier, we've got quite a few dents across this outer face. They need to be addressed with the hammer and dolly and English wheel. The bottom is quite rusty. As I hold this up from the inside, you can see nearly all of it's gone. We are going to repair that with a strip all the way across. It will probably buckle and warp, that's okay. We will use the English wheel and shrinker to take care of that. And of course, we've got some issues on the end. I'll flip that around so you can see that as well. And they're not major, just some small parts. So I think we'll get started with that and we'll get this whacked in in no time. And that'll give us our basic curve to start with. And this will do as our template mock-up with a stretcher shrinker. We'll fine-tune that curve and fit them to both sides. And that's ready to fit after a bit of trimming and fine-tuning, so we'll get both sides welded in. And that's our corners taken care of, nice and easy. And so now it's time to move on to the bottom section of the tail light panel. We've got four pieces cut out. We're not going to worry too much about warpage with this one. They're cut a little bit longer, so we're going to just shrink them down using the stretcher shrinker and the English wheel to flatten them all out. And we'll also make sure we take care of a very minor fold that runs along this part as well. So let's bang them in. So as we have a look at it after cleaning up the welds, it's quite wobbly as we expected. We're now going to continue by trimming up the pieces which were made a bit longer as mentioned before and then take care of it in the shrinker and English wheel.
and that there has now removed a lot of the wobbles. So time to sort it out on the English wheel. So now time to do a very faint fold right on the bottom edge. take care of our bottom section, time to move on to the top. ourselves a panel ready to install. and lining up where they were meant to originally. So we're looking good. There's our tail light panel, all locked into place and all sorted, ready for our beaver panel. Happy days. And now moving on, this is our final piece being the beaver panel. That's quite a bit of work. You can see that a lot of this edge is gone and rotten. This little tab here is about to snap off and I'll do it right now. That's weak, it needs to be replaced. There's a mounting tab here that's missing that needs to be replaced. And we've got the end piece here that needs to be repaired. So we'll start by doing the top section here first. We'll do it in a couple of pieces. I have some cuts here that I'm going to start with. And because we have an overlap here, we'll do this as a second separate piece. And so when we do use our replacement piece like this, there is actually a slight kick up on the end that's going to come out. You can't see it really on this rough piece here, but we will be able to show you on our clean and new piece. What I've seen in the past is a lot of people will just trim that edge off completely and that's their fix for rust repairs on a tile panel. 
but I want to make sure that this replicates the original 100%. So we're going to go to some efforts to make sure that we do keep that correct curve and that it is the correct length. So why don't we get started, shall we? And so we begin by creating a little mark where the fold is meant to start. Now with our top edge taken care of, we can now turn our attention to the side piece. That there now finishes the bulk of our steel work for this panel. We're just about ready to install it. But first we need to do our little cutout here and then weld in our little electrical tab and put in our fuel tank fastener and then we're good to go.
And there's our entire tail section. It's finally finished, all structurally sound. But there is one more thing to check first. Just as we'd hoped for, everything fits absolutely perfectly, just like the factory piece would have done. Happy buddy days. And righto guys, that wraps up this episode. We have essentially got the entire tail end completely sorted and rust free. There are no more panels on the car that are rusty. Of course, we still have to take care of the roof and parcel tray. We're gonna fabricate all of that up in the next coming videos. However, we have been busy with the end of lockdown. We've been dealing with a big block galaxy and we've also got some rallies coming up. So we're gonna show you some of those videos in the next few weeks. Of course, that doesn't mean that we're not gonna continue with this Landau. We're gonna keep going in the background. And as a result, we should be able to get some more regular content. So I apologize for the delay in getting this video out. It has been difficult, but uh, look forward to joining you next week. Cheers, guys. Oh, fuck. Get started, can Oh, to oh, fuck yeah. Oh. Ow! Oh, that was a bit sad. Oh, you turd.